This is what I use at home to both test out new completed circuit boards and also to come up with some new pedal circuits, things like that. Uh, pretty simple, you can build one at home. This is just a 2 by 4 This is a steel stud as a housing for the pedal. <laughs> and you've got your input output jacks just like a regular pedal with a bypass switch here's all your pots that way you can try out different values with different circuits and see how they work uh, these are just extra wires from pots that aren't being used at the moment um, these are barrier strips that way you, you don't have to solder up the pots and things every time you just use a screw terminal and that right there is the breadboard. Um, sure, some of you know what breadboard is, and some don't. Um, sure, there's other videos that can explain to you how to use a breadboard. But this is what I use to design a circuit, come up with something, or just try some schematic I found on the internet. Um, right now, I got a booster circuit on there. I'll show you how you can plug into this, same as you plug into a pedal. Just try out some new effects. And of course you can switch out different components if you want. for true bypass so that way you can really tell the difference without having to keep plugging it in and out of your amp I like to use solid core wire so that way it it stands up as you like when you put a circuit board on there it'll kind of float instead of just lay down and possibly ground out against something and that's about all there is to it but the only upgrade I'd like to do is make it run off of a adapter instead of a battery but that's something I always do later um, it'll be a great rig if you like to either make pedals or even mod some or something like that